Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's Christine here. So I'm just going to do a couple of things with my Sweet Bird journal, which is using the which used the Daphne's Diary um, magazine. So I will link all the previous videos um, to the creation of this below in the description box. So we've used up all the pages. Um, we've still got some cover to use and I think that's getting into the camera. Um, so I've got some thoughts on using this. Um, what else have we got? We've got this was the like, poster. Isn't that gorgeous? So I can use that. Got the stickers. Um, got a little diary. And I think I know exactly where I'm going to put that. So we've got this that we can use. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use that, but it'll definitely be something that... Um, I can use um, I'll probably like punch out use punches um, and different shapes and things like that but once I get to there then we'll both know what we're gonna do with it um, I can definitely use these as journal cards um, I love this drawings and um, it's like a postcard on the back so we can decorate those up what else have we got? Oh, the recipes. So we've still got the recipes. Um, and again, we can use these as journal cards and I can use this side um, to embellish things. And that's the other side. So there's a real good variety of colour there. So, but to start off with, um, I was just thinking on the inside cover. Now, I'm not sure if I need... Oh, see, that's gorgeous too. But I'm thinking of using this here to do like a belly band, but I don't want to use... Cut this bit because I want to use this elsewhere, this little tag. So what I might do is cut along and then up. I think I'm, that's the way to go on that. So... Um, I will cut along this blue. So this I can use, and this spine I can use elsewhere too. I love that writing. So it'll all get eventually used, but it'll be throughout the magazine, throughout the journal. So now I'm thinking, let me just see, make sure that you're in camera. I'm thinking of doing a tuck spot because I want to be able to, this Daphne's diary belongs to. I want to be able to use that. So I'm thinking of putting that up against here. It might be a bit of a small tuck spot um, only because I want to keep this. So how about I cut this out because then I know that I'm not going to lose that. And I could leave that yellow at the top. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And I might actually even do a proper um, fastener like that. So, and let's just take this across. I might actually use my cutter. 
only because then I can get it straight. So just one moment, let me move this and that. And then I can definitely get that straight. And I could use that as a pocket on the back, inside back cover. Um, I was hoping to be able to use this, but that's not going to that's not going to work. So is that fairly straight? Now, do I want to make it? Let me bring this down. How wide do we want to make it? So if I make it that wide, I'll just cut that top bit off. Or I can make it just the width so that that material flows all the way down. That might be nicer, actually. And I'll just make it that width. Yeah. All right. So let's make sure that this is that straight. Can use that somewhere I, I keep everything until at the very end when I'll have to um, when I can throw actually throw it out that was just a tiny sliver that needed to come off there So this can go here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave a gap of this background around it and then sort of center it. Um, I'll take a little notch out and then things can just slip in there. need so while I'm at it I'll put a little notch in this one That's going to go in the back. See if I can get my glue out.
So I'll use this one. Try and get a very thin row of glue. Try and center this. That's it. Right, tissue out, she gets any excess glue that's squeezing out. Okay. And that shows up these colours as well, which is great. So I'm going to put this one in here. So it actually looks like, yeah, so I'll put that right on the edge. So this won't have any, any of this showing. Now I was wondering... Do something like that and if I add this um, little diary which came with it look at that isn't that cute it's just lined paper but it looks really gorgeous um, I mean I can add it to inside the journal so there's no no biggie on that but I'm thinking if I add it to here then I, I'll probably need to add a bit of like a gusset flap here just to make the the um, pocket more fillable. If that's the right word. I think I might use it inside, inside the journal. So what I want here is where I can just slot... Maybe plain paper, maybe lined paper. But we'll decide that when it comes to... Okay. So that's just going to go there. Now, just love it. So these um, like postcards. be a bit tall for that aren't they gorgeous just love them so I can cut along there and use them throughout what else have I got So it's something that I have done um, between videos is I've actually been searching for papers that are similar colouring and I have found a heap as you can see here. Um, I went on to Craft World and um, I became a premium member so I was, abs I was able to download some um, papers and they really fit in with um, the Daphne's diary um, colours 
So this was one set that I got. Um, but all these colours sort of fit in with the Daphne's diary. So I can use those and I'll be using those throughout. There's also um, on the website of, da of Daphne's diary, you can, they have like um, free downloads and I'll show you, I've got some gorgeous papers. Let me try and find them. I've just got so many here because this was another set from off of Craft World. Look at that, gorgeous. This was one, these were a set that I made for myself, um, just in that light blue colouring. Um, and sometimes when I've got emails from them, there's been um, little pictures, so I've been able to get those off so I can use those. There's a real mixture of people's works here, so it's not all. This was another one of Craft World. So those colours fit in really well. Oh, don't need that. Um, there was some really nice autumn, an autumn pack. As you can see, I don't know if you can see all these. Um, they're off Craft World. So I'll definitely be able to use those throughout because it's all the same colouring. And I made some of the um, these. This sort of yellow made some of these to fit in because I'd really like to try and use um, anything that's from Daphne's diary in it um, so we'll just get we'll get started there's so much there and I know I'm going to confuse myself with all the papers that I've got so I think I'll just create and then um, we'll get on with it. So I just want to make a, a journal card. So I'm just going to use one of these. make one for in here and actually I might cut that actually and then that will be nice and straight hopefully and then um These are so nice. I'm going to keep it intact, so then I'll just use it when I need need to. And I think there's still some little dots on the bottom corner there. not going to fit all the way in because it's I need to trim off bits from both ends
guys. Probably a bit more. Should be enough now. Yeah. I want to find a piece that. Here. I've just been collecting so much. No. Use one of these tags. I'll just see what it looks like. So I'll try and do um, sort of quickish videos. Um, yeah, that looks good. I'll keep that for later. I'll put that up the top end here. Like that. And put a little bit of glue on that one. And be like that. That looks really cute with the, the squares. And 
for now I'm just going to leave this plain because sometimes like I go back to things and um, and I might add something so for now I'll leave it like that Now I'm wanting to put tabs on this because this is that first poem that um, we've cut in half and we've put them together so you can continue reading it. So let's see. I might just do two tabs with this. And this pink fits in with what's here as well. So I just want to make two little square ones. Like that. There, and now this one might do that sort of down here. Um, would that be all right? Yeah, actually, it would. It would be all right like this. glue on this bit okay so that can go like that that's really cute I love the bird bird houses shall we do with this it really is as you turn each page you make a decision of what you're going to do at that time um, it's something that really can't because I want to keep the integrity of all the pages I'm actually liking this to do a pocket here. Um, maybe that would be nice too. Because there's the blue and the pink. that. I'm 
going to tear Now I want to, this time, I'm going to do fold over and I want to do extra. Make it a bit deeper. And I want to do folding so that it becomes a loose pocket. Show you what I mean. So I'll just put this over and it'll strengthen that top. chunks off my my glue should have just cut this off not going to see that because that's going to be on the inside so we've got that so I just need to work out the length there oh it's not that much actually there so we just need to take half of that off now let's fix up this so we want that on an angle like that and then that's our pocket that's going to have a little bit more room than if I hadn't made those like gusset Snip a notch.
I'm making sure I'm not putting too much glue on because it will spread as you put it down. And I just want to bring it in line with the edge of the paper. Like that. So that can dry now. these recipe cards. I'm actually just going to tuck one of these in. I can get that out. I really want the perforated edge so I've just got to endure with getting this out because I want that edge. over and giving that perforated edge a bit of a helping hand, making it a little bit more flexible. And I have torn this bit just there. All right, now let's I love how it's in um, English and oh it's all in different languages how cool is that so it's English and I'm not sure what these are I guess one's Dutch one's German and maybe one's French okay that can go in there and I can embellish this later and look at this isn't this a gorgeous border with the strawberries looks so cool all right so on on here I could do a little bit of a um, little bit of a page extension. Just see how much we need first. So 
so I want it to fold in to about that far Just get the length first, I think. So let's tear that up. So I don't want it to cover all that picture because I want you to be able to see that there is something there. And you can see that colouring there too, which is nice. I don't want it to fully cover up that so I just need where's my pencil a little bit of a I only need a tiny little bit of a tab easier to do that and then cut that we can keep that so that's how that's going to be and this will be just glued on here so I just need to put a bit of glue all the way down this edge. like that as we turn it over that will be like that so that's actually a page extension like that and then when, when you shut the signature you do see the the page showing as well And I can put a bit of washi tape there. That'll actually be quite nice. This bit. My daughter gifted me this. This was from her craft stash. And she can't remember where she bought it from. Okay, so that can be like that. 
and that fits in with the recipe card and it's got the colors the blue and the green so that looks nice I might just do a tab here that can go there like that and that picks up the red there So I may do more with this page. Um, I'm already thinking I might round those corners. Let's get that sorted. And I need something to go behind. Only because the paper... Um, The punch doesn't like really thin paper. Like that, that works better. Just put that on top, I think. does do a little bit of a, a notch thing but I can fix that up with my scissors like that okay so I'm going to leave it for that for this video so we put in this side tuck here again I'll probably do more in the back um, it's just getting the base sort of done and um, we added this side tuck and we did the back pocket so that's something that um, you can just slip something in there I'll just leave in that that in for example and then we went on to here we did two little tabs for this poem and then we've added a page extension on this one and that opens out like that and we've added the washi tape we've added this pocket here and we've put the recipe card in as well so and we made the pocket with the gussets so that it's got more room it's not like flat so we can add extra things in there as we go along so and that's what we've done today so I hope you like the start of that it's going to take a while to do this journal I will do a lot off camera um, but I'll show you that as I do each video and then there'll be a final flip through anyway so you'll definitely be able to see the whole lot as well in the final flip through so I hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for joining me and um, I'll see you in my next video thank you take care bye